Okay, let's talk about the increment or create method that's been added to Eloquent. Now, if you are used to working with Laravel, you'll know that we have methods like first or create, first or new, all of them kind of really helpful methods that get us away from doing any kind of additional logic and cluttering up our code. So this is just another addition in that set of things, which means that we can just write much cleaner code. And of course, it's a lot faster. Okay, let's take a look at the example that we're going to be working with. And this is an example from something that I have previously worked on. So it's a real life example that we're looking at here. And that is that we have some sort of visits table. Now this could be bound to some sort of model. It doesn't really matter. I'm just keeping it really simple here where we log a visit account of a visit based on an IP address or some other unique thing. So the goal here is to insert a record based on the user's IP address and then increment the count. But what we don't want to end up with is multiple IP address records being created. So let's take this from the very basics and just go back and start to do this. So I've already got the model created here. And let's just go ahead and create a record here. So let's store out a record. So let's say IP address in here. And let's go ahead and grab this just from request IP. And let's go ahead and add in the count here. And let's just set this to one. Now we know that by doing this, that's just going to create a record over and over again, which is not what we want. So this is not what we want. We want to insert this first and then, then increment this count. Let's go ahead and do that now in another way. And then we'll look at the increment or create method. So another way to do this is to go ahead and assign the visit that we first create some sort of variable. So let's say visit. This time though, we're gonna say first or create. Now what that will do is it will allow us to provide two arrays in here. The first is going to be the kind of lookup and we can have multiple in here if we want to. So for us, it's going to be the IP address of the user that's going to be the unique thing. Then it's going to be the things that we insert based on that. So let's just go ahead and fill this out. And I'm just going to add a count of one in here. And then let's just see what happens. So if we just go over and give the browser a refresh a few times, what's happened is the first time this was inserted, it was created. The second time around, it already existed, so nothing really happened. So it will just grab the first record. Now, because of that, what we can then do, remember this is the old way of doing things. We're gonna look at increment or create very, very shortly, which is gonna really speed this up. Then we need to introduce some additional logic. So we, now we need to say, well, if this wasn't recently created and we can use the was recently created uh, property of this model, instance, then we want to go ahead and increment the count on there. So basically every time this now runs, this root runs, or this could be tucked behind some sort of action or method somewhere, this will now grab the first visit based on the IP address and it will increment it. That's the exact functionality that we need. So I'm going to refresh this a few times and there we go. You can see that this now bumps up and if the IP address then changed, or of course someone else hit this uh, site, their IP address will be logged and their unique count will be logged as well. So, of course, that's uh, a lot of explanation just to then go into what we're about to look at. But hopefully that makes sense. This is what we would have to do previously. I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to head over to the database and get rid of this record. And now let's take a look at increment or create. So it sort of works in exactly the same way as first or create, but the second argument to this is just the thing that we want to increment. So let's go ahead and say visit, increment, or create. The first is the array of any of the attributes that we want to look up that are unique. So in our case, once again, it's going to be the IP address. So we can just grab that from the request object. Now, the second one, we don't provide an array like we did for first or create, because of course we're not inserting records, we're just incrementing records. So in our case, we want to increment that count value, that column. So we just provide the column name as the second argument. That is all we need to do. So we have now gone from this here, having to look this up, check if it was recently created, then specifically increment it to just saying increment or create and just passing this data in. These two things that we've just looked at do exactly the same thing. So let's go over to the browser and let's give this a refresh a few times. And there we go. You can see it's done exactly the same thing. I'm going to do that a few more times as well, just so you can see that that bumps up. So a super 
helpful addition here, but there is a little bit more we can do with this if you need to customize the behavior. So if we head over to increment or create, let's take a look at what this looks like behind the scenes. So you can see here that we've got the attributes that we want to look up and the column that we want to uh, increment. We've got a default, which will be the initial value that we insert when this is first created. Then we have a step. So this will be how much this is incremented by. By default, this is one. And then we have an optional last array of extra data that we want to insert at the same time. So technically we could say, well, we want the first one to be one, but then we want this to increment by 10, but we also want to insert some other data in here as we go ahead and do this. So you can go ahead and fill that in. Let's just take a look at this working. So let's come over and delete this record here. Go back over and just give this a refresh a few times. If we head over, you can see that this is now 41, which means the first was one, the first insertion was one, and then we incremented this by 10 each time. So you can play around with this uh, depending on your needs. Of course, I don't need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, you'll also notice as well, if we do open increment or create that the default column assumes the uh, column name of count so we didn't we don't even need to provide that in that wasn't intentional but you don't need to do that okay so lastly let's just take a look at actually what this increment or create method does now you can see it does exactly the same thing as we looked at at the start of this video it goes ahead and uses first or create but it taps this so it puts it into tap so this will return first or create and then it will go ahead and allow us to continue to do something within this function that's purely just stylistic preference and how this works but this does exactly the same things you can see if the instance was not recently created go ahead and increment this and obviously it looks a little bit more complex here because we're just passing in all the data from the method signature but pretty much does exactly the same thing as we have just looked at over here but Obviously, it is now nicely tucked away behind a method. So there we go. That is increment or create. Really, really useful when you need it to avoid having to write all of this logic when you need to increment something after it's been created by a unique column.